Hi, my name is Kayleen Womack and I'm a staff writer at The Root. This weekend, I'm taking you to Philadelphia, Mississippi to explore the story of the Mississippi burning on this episode of Small Town Horrors. Michael Schwerner and James Cheney were volunteers with the Congress of Racial Equality, participating in what was known as Freedom Summer during 1964. The two, along with college student Andrew Goodman, traveled to help Black people register to vote and advocate for civil rights. However, during the time of their campaign, the Ku Klux Klan was increasing its membership and setting fire to Black churches. On June 21st, 1964, Schwerner, Cheney, and Goodman were coming back from visiting one of the burned down churches when they were pulled over for speeding. They were all arrested and held in jail until the speeding fine was processed. When the three men were released at 10 p.m. that night, they were warned to leave Neshoba County. After they left, they were never seen again. The following day, agents from the FBI's New Orleans office inquired about a potential kidnapping. Up to 200 agents arrived in Mississippi to investigate. On day three of the search, the station wagon was found destroyed by flames, but the men were still missing. By August, investigators followed a tip that brought them to a farm outside Philadelphia where the remains of the three men were found. The feds discovered that members of the local police department, sheriff's office, and Ku Klux Klan conspired to murder the men. They kidnapped them, shot them, and buried their bodies in an earthen dam before setting it on fire. Despite the evidence, the state refused to indict the 21 men swept into the case. Instead, the Justice Department ended up handing federal charges to them, and only seven were found guilty by a jury. The ringleader, Edgar Ray Killen, was found guilty of murder in 2005 and sentenced to 60 years in prison. The incident sparked national outrage, leading President Lyndon B. Johnson to pass the Civil Rights Act of 1964. This Civil Rights Act is a challenge to all of us to go to work in our communities and our states, in our homes and in our hearts. Tune in next weekend to see what small town horror you visit next at theroot.com.